All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the constant thrust to weight ratio mod, which is being made by form user Linux Guru Gamer. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is the ability to specify a certain thrust to weight ratio for your ship to maintain during launch. And I really love this mod, as it's been a useful learning tool for for me, as in the past I've always been one of those pilots in this game that just throttles to maximum and hopes and prays that my ship makes it into space. And you know, generally it does, so it worked, but recently I've been trying to become a better and more importantly, efficient pilot, and a very important part of that is maintaining a specific thrust to weight ratio during a launch. And so this mod has been useful in reining in my full throttle ways. So let's jump right out to the launch pad where I have a constant TWR ship ready and waiting for us to show off how this mod works. And what I really love about it is of course, well, you don't just want to set one singular thrust to weight ratio for your entire launch as well? That's not efficient. You want to do it with different criteria. And how we set those criteria is by activating the mod with this button here, which will bring up our constant TWRUI and gives us our four criteria that we can use to change or limit our thrust to weight ratio. And those criteria are altitude, speed, Mach and G limit. Now I have to admit, I don't exactly understand why speed and Mach are here since Mach is just the measure of speed of sound, but I'm sure someone more knowledgeable than me has a reason for it and probably a good one, but personally, I've just tended to use the speed category here. But uh, yeah, Mach is there if you'll find that more useful. But personally, I have a tendency to use the altitude and the G limit the most. I find them very, very fun. Now, how you actually use these criteria is quite simple. You just click the button here and it's going to add it into our list on the UI. And you can then click inside of here to change said criteria. And what we have are a number of sliders for you to change the minimum and maximum altitude or whatever other criteria of course and then the minimum maximum thrust to weight ratio now for altitude we have a minimum of zero kilometers and a max of 70. for speed we have a minimum of of course zero meters per second all the way up to 2500 meters per second for mach we have a minimum of zero a max of 1.1 and finally, for G limits, we have a minimum G's of zero, maximum of six. Now you'll notice that all of them have the same thrust to weight ratio, minimum of one, max of five. And that's where my first sort of minor, minor little complaint is with this mod, that we are purely limited to these numbers. I personally would like a bit more altitude perhaps, or even more thrust to weight ratio. What if I want a one to 10 thrust ratio instead of a one to five? And so I hopefully in the future that will change. I should of course note that this is a mod under active development and has only just recently released earlier in the week. So hopefully these sorts of changes will come in time. But for right now, these are our limits with the altitude at zero to 70, speed zero to two five fifty uh, two thousand five hundred. There's the right words. Mach zero to 1.1 and G's zero to six. And what you'll notice here also is that we can actually set multiple criteria. And the reasoning for this is basically this list is going to go in order doing one after another after another, changing the throttle of the ship to maintain the thrust to weight ratio you chose. So for instance, say on the top of this list, we want the thrust to weight ratio to be one to five, between launch and 20 kilometers. Then after, well, 21 kilometers actually, then once you reach 21 kilometers, this shuts off and goes down 
to the speed category since that's what I have selected next and say we want the speed to reach 515 miles per hour at a 2.5 ish by five thrust to weight ratio. Once it reaches that 515 meters per second speed, it'll then go to Mach, etc., etc., on down the list. And you can keep on adding various things in here to have a lot of different steps in your flight, which is very important because, of course, well, like I said, you don't just want one constant thrust to weight ratio, you're gonna want to change it as your ship and the condition changes. Of course, you're gonna have multiple stages, which is going to affect things, plus the different atmospheres, etc. So being able to actually have these steps is very important. And while you're in here, of course, you can edit each of them, the criteria. You can also move them up or down with these arrow keys here on the side, so you you can rearrange them and of course if you decide one of them isn't needed anymore you have this X right over here and if say you're bored and done with the entire order well we have this clear button that gets rid of all of them and of course if you're done with the whole list in general you can hit close or of course hit this button again over here now what's fun is if you do have, say, a large list of things that you don't want to forget, like say this has become the perfect order for getting your ship into orbit, you can actually change the name up here to whatever it is you like, and then down here you can save it. And now this can be pulled up at any time in the future by hitting load and as you can see I've got two saved in here this one which we just made randomly which we're gonna load again because I can also show you how to delete it if you no longer want it considering this is random and wouldn't help anything we can just hit delete and there we go it's now gone Ooh, it actually did not leave from our load list that is a minor bug I have been able to delete these before Awkward. <laughs> All right, well, we're catching a bug right here and now. That is something I was able to do earlier, but now it seems to be glitching slightly. Oh, well, not a huge problem. Now, what we are gonna do, though, is load an actual functioning one that I was playing with earlier, so you guys can see how exactly this is going to control our thrust to weight ratio. So this is one that's doing all purely altitude. So between launch and two kilometers, we're gonna go for a thrust to weight ratio of roughly four to five, then from two to five kilometers, one to five, and then from five to 35 kilometers, five to five, or well, basically one to one. And if we just set up our ship by, of course, turning on our SAS so we don't, you know, wobble around, we just simply need to hit this activate button here. And now that this is activated, as you can see, we can't edit this anymore. And it is now going to control the throttle of our ship. So I just need to hit spacebar and let it go. Now, as you can see, we're roughly at 50 throttle up until we hit the two kilometer mark and notice it's green right now up at the top because that's what we're currently doing. There we are, we reached two kilometers, so it has now throttled way down, but is starting to throttle back up to reach that you know, specific thrust to weight ratio, which it did. And so now we're on the final phase from five kilometers to 35 at the five to five. And as you can see here, we have reached that target to thrust to weight ratio. And now that we have no fuel, we've throttled off. There we are. So that is how this works and how you get that load order. Now, of course, let's uh, reset back to launch to show it again and also show another minor bug. As you can see, it's gone. A a anytime you reset the flight or move to another flight, anything like that, you're gonna have to hit this button again to turn it back on. It doesn't stay persistent. And also you'll notice our altitude flight here is still on the list, but two of them are grayed out because it still thinks that we've done that flight or that we're technically still doing it. And so we can't actually edit these top two anymore. So you'll actually, if you wanna do that flight again, and hey, look, it just had a delayed deletion. 
<laughs> there we go. Lovely. Ah, uh, modding. So we, if we want to bring these all back again so we can edit them, we simply just have to load it back. And now we can change these things to our heart's content to edit them. And so uh, we're going to launch this again. And what I'm going to do now is actually try and throttle myself manually while it's working to show you what happens. So let's activate it once again. Prepare for launch and fire. And now it's roughly at the 50% and I'm gonna try throttling up. Now you can see barely that it is actually wiggling there and that's because I'm trying to throttle, but the computer takes over control. And so I can't do anything unless this is doing it. Now if something happens, something for, say for instance catastrophic, we actually can deactivate our flight with that button and now I control the throttle myself again which is useful so just in case you ever do need to take back control you do have that ability which is always good so let's revert launch once more and uh, actually play around with some of these other ones so again with the altitude you know you're going to be setting minimum and maximums and once you reach a certain altitude you change the thrust to weight ratio etc very useful now we also of course have speed and and it works just the same with the altitude that it's going to try and hit a certain speed and then and once it's hit that speed it'll go on to the next so for instance if we do say uh, this we'll try and get up to 273 really quick and then once we hit 273 oh what the heck we're gonna just throttle way down there we go so activate turn on SAS and fire and there we are so it is trying to throttle us to that point and at 273 there we go it now automatically throttled down to try and reach that thrust to weight ratio of one to five excellent all right so we can just deactivate that and uh, revert our flight so that is the speed now of course mock is going to function the exact same way it's just you're going to go with a some form of uh decimal of mock since you can only go over to 1.1 above the speed of sound apparently hmm interesting interesting again i wish we had more control over the slider but yes it's going to work the same as with the speed and finally my well, another one of my personal favorites is the g limits because there are mods out there that will actually make g-forces matter for instance high enough g's could hurt your kerbals or even hurt your ship and being able to limit your g-forces is actually quite cool so let's say we want to hit oh five g's and once we hit five g's throttling up quite quickly there we go we then want to say maintain a much lower g-force and a different thrust to weight ratio say roughly 2.5 and I don't know, maybe three-ish, I don't know, somewhere, somewhere around there. That should do something. <laughs> Might not do exactly what I want, but eh, it should do something there. And activate and fire. Oh God, we hit the five Gs right when we launched. That actually makes complete amount of sense because that initial launch is kind of high in G-forces. Which again, makes me kind of sad that um, we can only go to a maximum of six. So basically immediately after launch, it just went straight down to this one here. And well, we are maintaining a nice three Gs. So that is lovely. <laughs> let's, let's revert our flight back to launch there. And yeah, you can just, you know, go through any of these and you don't have to stick with one criteria. You can mix and match however your heart desires. And then of course, save and load whatever works for future flights. And that, is a beautiful beautiful thing so if you would like to try out this mod for yourself as well that's that's really all there is to the mod you can take a look at the link in the description as always and i would definitely say to give it a go as it is a very useful tool especially if you are like me and trying to learn to be better uh but yeah that is gonna be it for today's episode i hope you all have enjoyed and of course that you do come back for the next win we'll be doing another fun mod hopefully but until that time thank you for watching my friends and as always have a good one